Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How Nyasa Land became Malawi The country now known as Malawi was once called Nyasa Land. But even before then, it was the location of a big kingdom known as Maravi, which means reflected light, perhaps a reference to sunlight gleaming on Lake Malawi, which was Lake Nyasa at the time. Archaeological findings have shown evidence of early settlement around Lake Malawi, dating back to the Late Stone and Iron Ages. The pre-colonial Maravi Empire was a loosely organized society which spanned beyond present-day Malawi and encompassed the Chewa and the Tumbuka ethnic groups. The Yao from the north and the Ngoni invaded the kingdom during the 19th century. The Yao became involved in the slave trade, acting as middlemen for the coastal Arabs. David Livingstone visited Lake Nyasa in 1859 and was followed much later by British missionaries, traders and planters. This was a hostile period with widespread slave raiding. In 1891, Britain declared the region a British protectorate and it was called the British Central African Protectorate from 1893 and then Nyasa Land from 1907. Over the next half century, Nyasa Land hardly prospered. Work was in short supply for the African population forcing many to move to neighboring countries in search of employment. The view then developed in government circles that Nyasa Land's economy can only prosper in some form of closer union with its two colonial neighbors. Subsequently, in 1953, Nyasa Land was federated with Northern and Southern Rhodesia, now Zambia and Zimbabwe. The Federation idea was strongly opposed and in 1958, Dr. Hastings Kamuzubanda returned home from Ghana upon being invited by the Nyasa Land African Congress to lead the fight against it. The government declared a state of emergency in 1959 and had Banda and other members of the Congress arrested. Following his release in 1960, Banda was invited to participate in government discussions on political reforms. A compromise was reached. Nyasa Land will continue as a federation, but Africans will have a majority of the seats in the colony's legislative assembly. Banda became a minister in the government in 1961 and later became prime minister when Nyasa Land was granted internal self-government in February 1963. Ten months later, the federation was dissolved. Nyasa Land gained full independence and joined the Commonwealth on the 6th of July 1964 with Banda as Prime Minister. Upon independence, the name was changed from Nyasa Land to Malawi. Malawi became a republic in 1966 and Banda became its first president. A new constitution was written which gave the president widespread powers. As president, Banda held a number of ministerial portfolios including agriculture, external affairs, justice and works. With the Malawi Congress Party MCP, as the sole party, the country became a one-party state. There was widespread political unrest in the following decade. Pressure for democratic reform continued to mount till the end of the 1980s. Banda, however, held on strongly to the reins of power with the one-party system. Thousands of arrests were made and among those arrested was Chakufua Chihana, trade union leader and multi-party democracy campaigner. Strikes, students' demonstrations and political riots followed. The government came down strongly on the protesters using the police, leading to the death of at least 38 people. Western donors threw in their support for the campaign for multi-party democracy by suspending aid to Malawi in May 1992. The reformers came together in a public affairs committee PAC, an umbrella body of religious and political groups calling for change. 
the Alliance for Democracy AFORD, and the United Democratic Front UDF, were established in September 1992 and joined the PAC. The government then set up the President's Committee for Dialogue and agreed to hold an internationally supervised national referendum on the one-party system. Over 78% of the adult population voted in the referendum, which held on the 14th of June 1993, and 63% supported a multi-party system. Following this outcome, the constitution was accordingly amended. President Banda also announced an amnesty for all Malawians who were imprisoned or exiled for political activities. The Constitution Amendment Act introduced a Bill of Rights. The title of Life President, which Banda had taken up in 1971, was dropped from the Constitution and some other restrictive laws were revoked. Presidential and parliamentary elections took place in May 1994. Bakili Muluzi of the United Democratic Front UDF, won the presidential election, getting about one-third more votes than his nearest rival, Dr. Hastings Kamuzubanda. His party also obtained the largest number of seats in the parliamentary elections, but not an overall majority. Muluzi again won the presidency in the elections of June 1999 with 52% of votes cast while Gwanda Chakwamba, the candidate for an alliance of the MCP and AFORD, got 45%. In the National Assembly, the UDF won 93 seats, the MCP had 66, and AFORD 29. This gave the opposition alliance a parliamentary majority. However, by August 1999, getting support of four independents, Muluzi gained control of parliament. After completing two terms in office, Muluzi's attempt to change the constitution to allow him run for a third term failed. Eventually, his hand-picked successor, Binguwa Mutharika, was declared winner of the 2004 presidential elections. Mutharika began a campaign against corruption that saw many prominent members of his own party investigated and arrested. This impressed foreign donors who had earlier withheld aid from the country and the aid began to flow in again. Unfortunately, Mutharika died in April 2012 after a heart attack and his vice, Joyce Banda, stepped in as president. The next general elections were held on the 20th of May 2014 and for the first time, the people of Malawi voted for their local government, members of parliament and president in a single election. Peter Mutharika, brother of the late president, emerged winner, beating the incumbent Joyce Banda and 11 other contenders. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.